Uh, here's another look at this uh, Thomas motor and a modified Thomas motor running on a Felte module. A couple of them in series on an ice cube in my kitchen. It's got to be about, I don't know, 65, 68 degrees in here. So I'm differentiating the Felte with air temperature versus obviously 32 or so degrees down here. And I've got. Uh, I've got the magic going on here. <laughs> this is really cool. This little Thomas motor, uh, the way I've modified it here so that it runs on uh, the lower amperage. I'm still getting this uh, inductive kickback happening, even at low values. And that's because of these ferrites, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's what's giving me the, the nice big <coughs> uh, kickback spikes. <coughs> here again, this is a just differentiating the ice versus air temperature <coughs> on a couple of felt A modules. Yeah, this isn't super, super spectacular, but you know what? It's it's a fun little a little uh, project, little little motor project, and I was running it on this uh, solar cell in my last uh, video. It's a garden light solar cell with some very low light levels, and now, like I say. I'm using this Felte module. Okay, now that this is cooled down, I'm going to put this over here on the countertop, and I'm just going to put my hand on this thing. Let's see if I can get it to go. And here it goes. That's with my hand, body heat. Now it's running on the uh, cold that it picked up from that, differentiated with my hand body heat. Okay, now that I've heated that up on the hot side, I'll put this back up on the ice cube, and off she goes again. You know, this, this uh, process of uh, getting uh, power from a temperature differential has always fascinated me and I've always wondered if we could get power, enough power using Feltes to actually get it from cold because you can have a cold differential just like you can have a hot and cold. You can have a say a, not a, a 20 degree versus a 40 degree and get the differential you need to make the electricity to run a motor and like I say I've thought a lot about the places where it's cold where they just have a, a cold situation. If you could differentiate it, say, with the ground temperature down, say, two or three feet where it's a lot warmer with the higher up temperatures, you'd probably be able to use these Feltes to get power. And the thing I like about the Feltes is they have amperage. Uh, these are a um, pretty high amperage device because that's what this thing wants here. It doesn't care about voltage. It cares about amperage. And um, the thing will run down to a tenth of a volt, but it needs uh, it needs the amperage to produce this uh, thing going on there. And anyway, just uh, another experiment with this little uh, Thomas modified Thomas motor. And uh, I know several guys have been asking me for the circuit diagram on this. If I get a chance, I'll draw one up. But basically, there. The circuit starts here, runs through the switch and the battery source or power source, and comes over here. And it's a push against the north facing rotor magnet here and a pull on this side. But the way this is wired with the coils this way on the ferrite and then around like this, it's a very strange type of pulse motor that I haven't. Uh, Experiment with it with before, but uh, anyway, that's the latest from my kitchen countertop. <laughs> Thanks for watching.